Well, ladies and gentlemen, the press, uh, thank you for coming this afternoon. Uh, we've had a very uh, important, rich, and co comprehensive meeting between the government, the incumbent Tigono leadership, and uh, the representatives of the Antigono in the National pre transitional Committee, and the leadership of the SPLM IO, led by Dr. Yak himself, and the representatives in the very mechanisms of the National pre transit Committee. In the presence of uh, one of the grantors, um, His Excellency Muhammad, uh, Ahmad, uh, Muhammad Hamdun Dagalu, the Deputy Chair of the Sudanese uh, Sovereign Council, who represents the grantors and his delegation. The aim of the meeting was to uh, brief uh, both leaders of the status of implementation of the security arrangements uh, in the context of the 100 days extension and uh, for them to appreciate from uh, the leaders of the mechanisms themselves as to what has been done and what is outstanding and uh, the time scale within which they can complete some of the critical tasks in order for us to establish the unified um, force. Uh, in this context we um, gave a report on the distribution of the funds that were allocated recently. And this is important because there are a lot of rumors out there that uh, money has not been paid or withdrawn by the government. But I want to uh, take this opportunity to say that we uh, received the $40 million and distributed this money, uh, $16,582,000 went to the security mechanisms, out of which uh, $3.5 million went to the Joint Defense Board uh, four million to the Joint Military Ceasefire Commission, and uh, five million to the Joint Technical Security Committee. Uh, the DDR received two million. The Strategic Defence and Security Review Board got one million one hundred. The CDSAM Board received one hundred and thirty-one thousand two hundred and fifty. CDSAM CT received two hundred and seventy-five thousand. The National, um, the National. Uh, Constitutional Amendment Committee received uh, 315,804. The revitalized JMEC received 260. This constitutes 41.46 percent of the 30 percent to be given to these very important critical mechanisms. Thereafter, we heard reports from the leadership, uh, General Charles uh, Akor on the program of the Joint Military Ceasefire Commission. And then we heard from General Ring, uh, Rin Tweng, uh, who is the head of the Joint Transition Security Mechanism and his uh, co-chair and secretariat. Uh, and then from the Joint Defense Board, both General Jok, um, who is the SD, uh, Chief of Staff of the SSPDF, and General uh, CDR uh, James Kwang, who is also the, the Chief of Defense Force of the IO. And also we heard from the uh, general, uh, general from the secretariat of those two mechanisms, and then from the uh, the chair of the DDR commission, uh, General Yuan. Uh, so all, all of these reports were presented to these leaders, and they uh, listened keenly, and then made their remarks, uh, giving advice and concerns about the status of implementation and the speed with which things are being implemented. Uh, there is consensus that um, uh, there is delay, but these mechanisms have committed themselves to speed up now that they have the funds within their control and they should be able to, to move forward expeditiously. There is the issue of supplies, which have also been uh, agreement reached that uh, food, medicine and fuel need to be purchased quickly in order for these mechanisms to be able to do their job. Um, 
we believe that the meeting was very uh, courteous and, and, and there was a harmony and understanding uh, as, as South Sudanese committed to uh, ensure that this peace is implemented. And now that we have the leadership uh, of both government and the IO here, we believe that this shows uh, commitment of both sides to successful implementation of the agreement. Uh, I am accompanied here by my colleagues, uh, Michael McQuay from the government side uh, in the MPTC. I have uh, Pot Kang from the Asperem IO and uh, Peter Marcello from the IO. I would like to give opportunity to my colleagues on the other side uh, to say uh, what they have to say about the, the meeting. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Honorable Martin. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press. As uh, said earlier by Honorable Martin, who have given you the details of what we have discussed in the meeting, uh, I would only like to tell you that uh, uh, we really appreciated this meeting, uh, initiated by the principal, to listen to different mechanisms. And indeed, the mechanisms were able to present their reports, what they have done, what they have not done, and the challenges and recommendation as to how those challenges uh, could be overcome. Uh, the two leaders uh, plus one of the grantors that were mentioned to you earlier, uh, General Imiti, will have a meeting to also shut the way forward and direct the rest of us as to how we will approach the remaining 70 days. As you all know, 31 days has gone. So, we will have to increase our speed for us to meet the deadline set by the extension. Uh, we also call on the public to support us on the process. It's not an easy process, but we believe that we will achieve the desired result. Uh, but of course, we will not do it without the support from our public. Uh, we all know that a situation here and there that has to be overcome, and I believe by working together, discussing, and meeting, we will be able to overcome those challenges. Uh, also, questions were raised, or the security mechanism uh, has really mentioned to us, or they have enlightened the meeting, that the security situation in the country is calm, with the exception of two incidences. One in my wood, uh, and we are all calling on them, those in my wood, to really seize that. It's not helpful to the process, and we don't need loss of life again. We also call on our brothers on the side of Ye, particularly Tom Cirillo, to also seize the same, because we really move, need to move forward, and on the process, we don't need any South Sudanese to lose life. Uh, the security mechanism, alas, were instructed by the principals to get back to work to increase their speed and to make sure we meet the deadline. Uh, these are the few things that I can add because Honorable Martin gave you the detail of what was discussed earlier. Thank you so much.